Hello, everyone, and happy Thursday, and welcome to another new location. So last video on Tuesday, I was in a new location filming at the end of that video. I was in the living room on the new wonderful, fantastic velvet mid-century modern chair that I purchased. Today, we're just trying something out. I am up in the office this morning and I am going to give you guys a haul from the office. I don't think this is gonna be a regular spot, honestly, for filming, but I just kind of felt like trying it today. So I have my like kind of spooky, stickly, twiggy branches over here. I've got my, I think this is the 2022 or 2021 little Bath and Body haunted house. Um, what are those things called? The little, little scent things. Wallflowers. Wallflower holder. That's what that is. And I have a closet door and I have this freaking trim thing that will be gone at some point. I'm just trying it up here today, but whatever. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I have a freaking huge bins haul for you guys today. I have an Ikea bag right in front of me and it is so filled that I can't even like lift it up and do the fun like, whoa, I'm trying to look over my Ikea bag. It honestly could almost be two Ikea bags. So I got a lot, every time I move it, it like is like a tower about to fall over. So I'm excited to show you guys this stuff. This is actually two days this week worth of stuff and I do have all of it photographed. Trust me, I stayed up until midnight last night taking pictures and I started at like seven or eight, probably eight. So I took pictures for like four hours last night and I powered through all of these. I just wanted to finally catch up and I'm totally caught up, which I'm so excited about. A lot of this could be listed by the time that you're seeing this, but if it's not, it will be listed over the weekend because like I said, it's all photographed, lots of good stuff. Both of the days weren't like, oh my gosh, I filled a card. I can't believe it. I have so much amazing stuff, but they were both decent and pretty good. And there were like some standout pieces in each one. So together they make a pretty good, pretty solid haul. Clearly I'm here alone today. Ryan's teaching. He's actually teaching every single day this week. So he's quite busy. He'll be here Saturday to say hi to you guys. So let's start off as usual with the things, the miscellaneous, the bags, the shoes. And that is the category that I didn't really pick up much. My bins didn't do many shoe rotations this week, at least when I was there. And one of, ooh, one of the days I was there for like, all day and they didn't do a single one. So that's honestly okay because I have a lot of shoes right now. So I'm totally fine with that, but I did get one pair. So let's start off with the bags. So I got this little very Ryan style Y2K mini bag. This is actually a nine West bag. And if it doesn't sell for me, I will give it to Ryan, but I'm gonna try it myself for right now. But it's kind of like little reflective mirrors in each of these little flowers. There's a few marks to this, but nothing too bad. And then the inside is this cute like spring pink denim gingham not denim <laughs> so this will be perfect for spring there's a little bit of like that glue discoloration on the inside but that's just due to the age and i believe it's a faux leather but this is mainly something that probably would do good on depop but i mean of course i will list it all over the place and that's kind of the theme for this bag as well is kind of just a vintagey depop but also will be on poshmark bag this one is super freaking cute and this is a fully beaded like grandma floral bag. This is adorable. Underneath the beading is some beautiful flowers embroidered in, kind of like that vintage couch look. The handle is fully beaded and the handle connects to one side. And then on the inside, it's a really clean black satin. This is made in Hong Kong, handmade. This is really, really old. And I just thought that this was absolutely beautiful. Kind of the same situation where if it doesn't do good for me, I'm sure Ryan can sell it on Depop, but I kind of feel like that one will definitely do good for me. And then one last bag is one that I'm gonna put some love into before it gets posted. So this does not have pictures yet. This is a, obviously, vintage coach leather bag. This is the Quincy, I was looking it up. This is such a freaking cute style. It's kind of like a camera bag, but not, I mean, I guess, yeah, it is kind of a camera bag. So it has a back pocket here and then the turn lock front and flap opening. It's really, really, clean and nice on the inside. The outside needs some conditioning and maybe some leather dye treatment. But as you've probably noticed, the big flaw with this is the handle has kind of popped off. We do 
do have a shoe and bag repair guy that we go to a couple cities away and he's really, really nice and he's done a lot of work for us. And I might bring these here because like Vintage Coach is kind of worth a little bit of investment because it just does so good and it's worth so much money nowadays. And honestly, this will probably be a really, really easy fix for him that won't honestly cost me very much. It just needs to be refolded and then some stitches need to be put in. Then we have some belts. First up is a classic, one that I love to pick up, the studded gothic emo Y2K Hot Topic belt. So this is a size 28 belt. There's a Hot Topic logo right there. This one is in quite good shape. There's always cracking here. You guys have heard me say it before. These are not real leather. They don't like stay in perfect condition and they're from the early 2000s. So they've had quite a few years of life. So they do usually have some wear. So yeah, there's some cracking here, but I've seen much worse than this. So this is in not that bad a shape. And the next belt is a leather, kind of just traditional brown belt. And this one is Dooney and Burke which I didn't know they make belts, but I'm honestly not surprised that they do. This is a size 80 or a size 32. This one is in great shape. There's like hardly anything wrong at all. There's like some light glazing cracking here, but I mean, that's where the belt loop goes. So that's just gonna happen. And it's a solid brass buckle. So that's fantastic. Now on to the shoe. Z the one pair of shoes. This is a pair of sandals, wedge sandals, and I bet if you know your shoes, you know what these are already without me telling you or showing you the brand. These are some ankle strap leather wedge lugged sandals, and these are by Sorel. And these type of Sorels have been so, so popular for like years now. So there's the logo on the inside right there, and then here's the logo on the bottom right here. And as you you can tell these are in such good shape. She probably wore these under five times and I cannot believe that these just ended up in the bins. Like that is so crazy to me. These are called the Joni 2 I believe and yeah I love these. They're size eight and a half. I was really really excited to find these and those are posted. I do know that. So let's move on to some clothing and I got a lot of clothes. So <laughs> buckle in. First up we're starting off with a vintage piece. So this is one of my favorite vintage brands to sell. I feel like we put it on some bolo at some point, but I know we haven't done a vintage bolo yet. But if we did a vintage bolo, this would be on it. So it's called Bechamel, and they make all kinds of like tacky graphic, kind of like Bob Mackie type vintage pieces. This is a petite medium, but a lot of these are honestly pretty normal length. Like this does not look petite to me. So it's basically a medium and this is a cat sweatshirt. And not only is it that, it is like fall cats. So they have leaves all over them, like orange, yellow, and red leaves. This is so adorable. This is very bechamel. Like this is what all their stuff looks like. I was pretty excited to find that. I have had bechamel three times and it always does really good. So definitely pick it up if you see it, especially if it's at the bins. Then let's see this. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is my second time finding this brand, which perfect for me to find. So this is a brand that's called Killstar. Killstar, I've talked about it once and that was the one other time that I found it. Killstar is like Dolls Kill, but more, more gothic, which is kind of weird to say than Dolls Kill. And also more like honed in and they make their own stuff and it's like elevated hot topic. It's kind of hard to explain. So this is a hooded cardigan sweatshirt and it's got all these like gothic emo graphics on the outside, kind of like witchy core stuff. And this is actually a 3X, so it's a great size too. But Killstar is super good all over the place. It does good on Mercari, it does good on Posh, it does good on Depop, it does good everywhere. This is a super long, like I said, open cardigan sweatshirt, and it also kind of has like that waterfall drapey effect. So I was really excited to find this. There's nothing wrong with it, I just had to clean it, and now it is all clean and nice. Then we have some pants that I really wanted to keep for myself, but I just, I have a lot of pants, so I don't want to keep this for myself. There's actually two things in here that I wanted to keep for myself, but I'm too much of a like reseller mind. Like, but Jack, you could get money for it. So I've talked myself out of both of them. <laughs> Even though Ryan's like, just keep them, just try them on. And I'm like, 
No, I need money. So this is J. Crew, and I guess for both of them, if they don't sell, then I'll keep. Like if they don't sell after like a couple months. So these are Ludlow pants. They're slim and they're size 32 waist, 30 length. So they'd maybe actually be a little big on me, but also they have belt loops, so I could definitely belt them. These I need to steam, so ignore like the wrinkles and stuff, but these are like a gray plaid yellow pant. So fall, and oh my gosh, if you guys could feel this wool, it feels like luxury wool. It feels absolutely comparable to many luxury pants that I've like sold or owned. This is from 2018. The style is J8481. If you want to look them up and see what they're like, I have not done that yet. I have not taken pictures of these yet because I still need to steam them, but wow. These are just so, so nice. So nice. And I just love that color combination. They look so good for the fall. <sighs> okay. Then we have a sweater, Sundance, size small. Definitely oversized though. It's a mohair lamb's wool blend and it's this kind of like sea foam green color tunic sweater. Like I said, definitely oversized for a small and it's kind of like a looser knit where you'd probably definitely want to wear something under this. And it also maybe wouldn't be as like hot. So you could honestly wear this into the spring. We have another sweater. And this is A, really cute one, and B, a good brand as well. So this is a adorable mock neck star sweater with this fun like button detail to the neck. So I could tell right away it felt nice. And obviously I wanted to check it because I love anything with stars on it. And it is actually Kate Spade Broom Street. So that was really exciting. So there's one day where it was like decent throughout, but nothing crazy. No shoe rotations. That was the first day. And then the next day it was like, awful <laughs> for like most of it and then at the end it started to be better and this was from that second day so this was one of my best finds from that day this is a size medium and like come on that's just freaking adorable i think this is a wool blend but it's not mainly wool so it is softer versus being like itchy or anything that's so adorable i love that another sweater and i love this color and it's actually showing up right which stuns me. When I took pictures of this on the white wall, it did not. This is Endless Rose, size large. Endless Rose is like a boutique brand. I think it's sold at Ever Eve. It's sold on Lulu's. It's sold at Anthro sometimes. I haven't really looked up to see where this is from yet, but I really like this periwinkle blue purple color. It's just really, really pretty. And it's also just in such good shape that I thought I'd get it. Cause once again, this is like a great sweater to also go into spring with because spring is not always warm, especially around here. March can still have snow. Like it can snow on my birthday, which is <laughs> not great. So this would be perfect. Like Easter, or just a random spring day, May day. Hopefully by May day, it's warm, I would assume. Then we have a sweatshirt, and this is a leopard printed puff sleeve sweatshirt. And this is by Abercrombie and & Fitch. And you guys know that I don't pick up like a ton of it, but I do, I've been like dabbling in it. So this is from the Soft a &F collection. And that's the stuff that I kind of have been trying. It's like the Soft a &F stuff and the plus size trendy jeans. That's what I've noticed too good for me. This is an XL, so it's a great size too. I think that this will do really good. My soft a &F stuff will do good on Mercari and Posh. And I mean, at the bins, definitely. I definitely would not have purchased that at like a regular Goodwill or something. Let's get into some dresses. Let's kind of like switch seasons here for a sec. I weirdly found a bunch of really good Zara dresses and rarely do I see something from Zara and think, wow, I like that. That's not a common thought when I see Zara, but it happened with four <laughs> Zara dresses. So like, this is one for the record books. Four good Zaras in general. That's pretty crazy. We're not gonna start with the Zara, but after this piece, we'll do the Zaras. This is a different brand dress. This is an Eileen Fisher dress, another brand that I don't often think Wow, I like that. No, not frequently, but I kind of like this one. So it's Eileen Fisher size medium, and this is a sage green asymmetrical dress. Oh my gosh, it's actually a midi, even though this seems super long, it's really hard to hold up. But the bottom is like asymmetrical, just kind of believe me, because like, 
I can't seem to get this high enough. And this is a blend. It's an interesting fabric. This is a blend of tensile and polyester but i just really like it it's in such good shape and i just thought i'd give it a shot obviously dress season is quickly kind of approaching and if this doesn't sell thread up loves eileen fisher so let's move on to the four zaras starting off with probably my first or second favorite and the only mini dress this is a trippy funky 60s 70s print wavy psychedelic dress i am obsessed with this it almost gives me emilio pucci it's a little less busy than emilio pucci which to look at this and say not busy is kind of crazy i love emilio pucci so i love this and this is a zara size medium it is the new label and it has this fun keyhole at the front and then i think you put this around your neck so it's like a halter top and then the back is a totally open like shoulder blade situation and it just goes down and i love this print and i love the colors so cute then we're getting into the longer zara dresses so i might have a tough time holding these up but just like imagine with me this is a zara size large and that's it too all of these longer dresses are all size large which is also weird because i feel like when i find zara it's like always extra small another new label zara this is a bat wing floral dress kind of more of like a boho style this one is about a shin length like a little longer than the knees i'd say but i like these colors it's like green and gold and i think it's really cute this did have a belt it looks like but it is missing that belt but that really never deters me because it can just be like a shift instead of a belt address which i don't really care <laughs> this one has a belt and has the belt so that's great this is the funnest print so this is an older zara label this is zara basic and this is size large which i will say thank you zara to all the executives of zara who are watching this <laughs> Thank you for not having all the weird lines and just now having it just be Zara. Like Zara basic, Zara black and white, Zara woman, Zara girl, Zara trafalic, Zara jeans, Zara, like, chill. Chill with the, like, we don't need all these lines. We can just have it be Zara. And now it is, so bless that. So this is a size large, and this is like a shirt dress. From far away, it kind of just looks like a paint splatter, a little like, fun dress and that's definitely what i thought it was at first but then if you look closer you realize that there are animals all over this a bunch of different animals and like sketched out trees and ponds there's an elk on the back right here there is a deer at the bottom right here there's like a coyote right here this is like such a cool interesting print and i really really like it there's a horse on the back right there and then like i said it has a belt so this is also probably a slightly past the knee length dress but i really like that one it's especially rare for me to like the older zara labels so i was pretty surprised by that and then this is also like tied with the psychedelic one as my favorite this is another new label there's a foreshadowing. A new label Zara, and this is a size large. And this... <laughs> okay, I will say, if you're, like, walking around, it might get not as fun fast. So this is, like, a windowpane green, lime green, neon green print with floral in front of it. It does have, actually, strips of metallic silver in it that I don't know if that's showing up very well on the camera. This is beautiful. And it has this super amazing, fun shell tassel at the front. I have a feeling, Zara doesn't date their stuff. I have a feeling that this is from last year because this checks like all the 2022 boxes. Or is that 2021? It's either like really, really end of 2021 or this is 2022. The lime green was everywhere. Shell details and shell jewelry and shell bracelets. Yes. My clothes are not moving. This would be Mike. <laughs> Ever since moving, Mike is like, I'm a, I'm a star. Please, I'm a star. Go. Oh, I'm a star. Please, I'm a star. 
you just try to be in like all the videos. So this, it checks a bunch of boxes for like 2022, 2021 trends. So this has to be like very, very current. But like, come on, this is beautiful. It's flowy and it's really light. So it kind of like slowly moves with you. I really like that one. I was pretty surprised how much I liked Zara, honestly. Then we have a new tags piece and this is by a good brand, a bolo. This is Natori and this is a size large and this is a beautiful very like soft silky maxi robe but more of a just like walk around the house robe not a like warm up or like i'm done showering robe it's kind of like more of a sensual robe but this is new with tags and this retailed for 140 dollars at Nordstrom. It is also supposed to have a belt that it is missing. There are loops on the side here, but you could honestly just get like any sash or anything, but it does still tie shut. It's like a wrap. This one's pretty hard to show on camera. It's like a wrap robe and it's really, really nice. Then we have, let's go back to winter and cold weather, I guess, a sweater. And this is like a leopard, cheetah, tiger, whatever, tiger jack print sweater it's an over it's a very oversized sweater actually because this is supposed to be an extra or no it's supposed to be a small but it's definitely still oversized this is a pam and jella piece which is a, a brand that i do not find very often this freaking sweater retailed at like 365 dollars, which is absolutely ridiculous pam and jella is a little bit one of those brands where i'm just kind of like okay the retail price is a little out there i don't know if it's worth that like they make some cute pieces but sometimes i'm like that's a stretch. I'll take it. That's exciting to find at the thrift store. Oh, this is so interesting. This is crazy. So if you guys remember the thrift with me, the regular thrift with me where I was just at like Savers and a regular Goodwill store that went up on Tuesday. At the Savers, when I was going through the blazers, the only blazer that I really liked was a J. Crew Black Schoolboy blazer. And I didn't get it because it was from like 2014 and I didn't want to pay the price on it. I was like, oh, the bins, I would love to find this, but not here. This is the exact same one. It's not the exact same one because that was a Savers and Savers stuff doesn't end up at the Goodwill bins. But this is the exact same like style number, date, and it's a black J. Crew schoolboy blazer. I don't remember the size on the other one. And this one has a little bit of discoloration here, which the J. Crew there also did too. But like, what are the odds? This was like the next day after that video went up, I went to the bins and found this. Oh no, it was the same day. I filmed in the morning, I filmed the ending. Thing. Then I went to the bins and then that video premiered that night. So like in the day that that video went up, I found the exact blazer at the bins. And I just think that that's really odd. And I want to know who's watching me and who's planting these things because I don't trust that. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going on with some more like cold weather stuff, I suppose. So we have the other item that I kind of want to keep, but I just know I won't use it enough. So I'm going to sell it. I think I might try it on. I still haven't tried it on. So this is a really, really adorable hoodie and it is such nice quality. It's got the pockets in the front. It's got a fun stripe across. It's in like new condition. Here's the back and here's the logo. So this is a Zaya hoodie. I love Zaya. So this is a Zaya size large. I have been like running into Zaya all over lately and I am not mad about it. I just really like this. And finally, it's like a Zaya piece that I think would fit me because I wear like a men's small, sometimes medium. So this woman's large would probably be perfect. It seems long enough and I might try it on. I haven't decided yet. We will see. Then we have a Patagonia piece, organic cotton, size large men's. This I think was a guy that worked for a beer company because it says New Belgium. He probably like delivered it on the truck and this is what he wore, which would be kind of comfortable. That's kind of a nice uniform, but I will still sell it if someone likes. I think, please tell me I'm not wrong. I think New Belgium's a beer. So if somebody likes New Belgium, they would love this. Or if they just like beer, honestly. Then, oh, these are like right up my alley. So I have never sold spider myself. This is a large, extra large woman's spider piece. It can be valuable. I always thought it wasn't worth anything. And then I recently found out that it kind of is expensive. And I don't know. I don't know much about spider, honestly. But these 
are some black and orange spider web spider leggings. So the logo is right here. And on the back it says spider. And I love these. Like I know they're not meant to be spooky or Halloween or whatever, but black and orange with spider webs. If these were just like pants or joggers or something, they would not be going anywhere. Then we have another spring piece and this is Bowden. And this is from the second day. So this is one of the other good finds that day. This is a size two and it's just a really, really cute, very like saturated color print blouse. Not a ton to say about it, but it is a very cute with the like little berries. It's a very cute print. Then there's that little moon again. We found another Zaya piece. This is a Zaya size small. This is, oh, this is kind of weird too. So this is the same pair of zipper ankle joggers that I just recently found. Now that I don't think was at thrift stores. That must have just been like last week at the bins. I found these in black. And now I found them in blue. Last week at the bins, one of the zipper pulls was broken and it had no drawstring. This time, we have a drawstring, but both zipper pulls are broken. Yay! <laughs> so clearly, Zion needs to work on their zipper pulls, I guess, but I'll still take it. At least for me, when I have like a zip ankle or like snap ankle piece, I don't often do that which might be the case with other people. So then it doesn't really matter that you can't unzip them because like maybe you don't want to anyways. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting close. We're getting close. Let's take this all out. A little snack left. Next up is a brand that I do not sell very often. I have a few times, but it's really, really cute. And I have kind of a story with this one. So this is an H&M piece. This is size 10. Absolutely stunning. It is a very perfect for spring and summer palm tree embroidered mini dress. So these aren't just printed on, they're all like embroidered in. I got this at first to bring the Play-Dohs because I'm gonna do a Play-Dohs run soon. I haven't done one in like <laughs> over a year, but I'm gonna do one soon. So I got this for Play-Dohs. I washed it. While I was washing it, I looked it up just cause like it's really cute. And it's like a blogger favorite H&M piece. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'll sell it myself. Then, I was listing it and I noticed it has the tiniest little like split hole at the end of the V of the neck. And I was like, seriously? So then it turned into a donate piece. And then I was like, okay, if this is like a blogger favorite, it's really pretty, it's good for the season. I'm just gonna list this cheap. So I posted it for 20, but if someone offered me like 15 or something, gone, they can have it. But it's just too cute to skip. Then, oh, I forgot one in here. Then we have this blouse. This is another brand I don't always sell that often, but it's so cute. This is Ann Taylor. It's a size small and it's this beautiful, beautiful floral. It gives me such Bowden vibes, honestly. Beautiful floral, super soft. What is this material? Spring blouse. So this is ran in nylon, but it is, it's almost like a linen-y feel. It is so, it'd be really, really comfortable. This is from 2021. And I am gonna try selling that myself cause I just like love it. I have like a few things in here that just weren't meant to be in the haul. And then like under it, I keep noticing something else. Okay, so this is, anyways. This is Raga, which what happened to her? <laughs> I haven't seen Raga or found Raga in years. Like literally probably like two plus, maybe three years. But this is Raga Man, which I didn't even know existed. So I guess since I saw Raga last, they have made a men's line. Size large. And this is just a nice like beachy summer top with a pocket on the front. That's what these like dark spots are, just like the stitching of the pocket. It's, it'd be really comfortable. Also the fabric on this is something I've never heard of in my life. Oh, okay. I was just reading the non-English side. So it's 100% cotton. I was like, what is Al Gadon? Obviously it's just Spanish for cotton. You learn something new every day of your life. This is weird. A vintage knit beanie. It's made in the USA. It's really old. And does it not remind you of Prada? The Prada Flame collection that came out in like 2019, 18? I don't know, but come on. This looks just like what Prada did. And I'm like, did they get inspiration from the like tacky vintage flame situation? Probably. So that's for Depop and Posh. Then we have a pair of plaid pants. I love these. I love all plaid. These are American Eagle which I've not really been picking up a ton lately, but I'm gonna get these. They're a size 12 long. 
and these are from 2021. And I just really like them. They're actually like a really, really, I think it's a dark navy. I just, I don't think that's black. It's like cream and like super, super dark navy, I believe. Then we have this fun pair. I know these are mall brands, but like these are fun pieces, okay? Gap, size 31, short, true skinny jeans. And these are carrot radish pattern gap jeans. I have no idea if somebody did this themselves or if they came this way. I feel like it's done way too well and it's there it doesn't like you can't feel it so i feel like it's gap who did it but i also can't find them anywhere online so i don't know but there's a radish on that and a carrot on that i love these i think they're so cute once again just so good for like spring and easter and stuff then we have another really fun print pants so these are pj salvage so of course they're pajamas these are size small these are wine printed pajama pants and i just think that they're so cute. I love red wine. So I just like, I love these. These would be so fun for just like having like a girl's night. We're all like drinking wine and like watching a movie or something. These would be perfect to just lounge around in. Then we have a bra by one of the brands from the Bolo video actually. And it's one of the ones I talked about. So that's exciting. Unless it was in the Valentine's one, but it was part of the bra bolos. So if you're not a Valentine, I guess write this brand down. So it's this evergreen lace floral bra with the hooks on the back. And this is actually by Chantel, or since it's like French, it might be like Chantal, Chantel, right there. This is also a really good size. It's a 38 quadruple D, which I have never even seen. I don't know much about bras, but I think triple D is E. So is this like an F? 38F? I don't know. But I've never seen that size, so it's gotta be a good size because it's not as common. But yeah, Chantel is a very expensive bra brand. I have three more things and I'll let you guys go. So this is a vintage pair of Levi's that some girl customized and she did a good job. So they got the distressed bottoms to them. They're very evenly cut, like they look factory done. She cut out the fly and it looks great. It's not messy or anything. These are just really, really, really nice. I'm not big on picking up or making vintage Levi's shorts because I feel like everybody does that now and it's really oversaturated. But these ones I could not skip. They're 33 inch or 33 waist. And I did measure them and they still are about that like it's pretty true to what it says even though these are very vintage because this is a really old label and they're made in Mexico yes yeah, so these are old ones there is a spot like at the front there I can't like on this side otherwise they're great but if they're already distressed and stuff I don't really think that that's big of a deal then we have a free people piece this is size small and it has the staining I think from being washed with the metal tag I think the metal tag started to kind of like run this looks like a super oversized tunic top but it's actually a mini dress I assume kind of a like <laughs> walk around the house mini dress because it would be quite short it's pretty cute could just wear it over some like really short shorts too and just give that like look. And the last piece is not really like a finale, but it's still a good piece. So this is Current Air. It's extra small. Current Air can be anthro. And I know this one is because I've had it before. So it's an extra small. I'd say it could fit a small too. It's a cute piece. It's got a puff sleeve to it. And I really like the black and white stitching detail. And then it has buttons on the back too. So this is anthro. That is all that I have for you guys today. So let me know what your favorite piece. I like doing the top three or I like top two. Let me know your couple of few favorite pieces that I found on these two trips. Mine would probably be the Zaya hoodie along with honestly the Zara dresses. Those two Zara dresses. I just really like those. I will see you guys with Ryan on Saturday for What Sold Saturday. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I hope next week I can bring you a haul that has some like luxury, fantastic, insane designer pieces in it. That'd be pretty exciting. But I will see you guys on Saturday with Ryan. Have a good Thursday. Goodbye.